Hey, welcome back to my vlog. I do appreciate it. Rick Corvette Conti here. It's great to have you here again. Uh, I can't thank everybody for the uh, cool text messages that we're getting, uh, the emails, some of the comments here on the videos on YouTube and through Facebook. So thank you again for that. Uh, starting today's vlog, yeah, last night I was supposed to come in and take down the Christmas tree. So I'm still contemplating, do I take down the Christmas tree? I mean, you come into my office and I have a Corvette specific office. This is a Corvette specific tree, so I think that it could kind of still work for every day of the year. But yet it's still a it's still a Christmas tree, so you know I have to have to consider that and not be overly festive all year long. <laughs> but every day I feel like I'm a walking Corvette billboard. But uh, uh, yeah, we'll come back to the tree. Uh, right now we got to go outside. It is freezing cold, and I'll show you a little trick how to open a door. On a, fro on a frozen Corvette. Check this out. Yep, we're outside in the cold. As we told you in previous videos, we do sell Corvettes in the typical off season and in this cold crap. Oh my gosh. But we got to get this one inside. We've got a client coming in today to look at it. So I'm going to show you how a little trick how to open this door when it's freezing cold and why you got to kind of do it the way that I like to do it. Uh, but in response, real quick to our January incentive video. Uh, because we price these cars aggressively and we put it right out there. We do so much internet business and our goal is to do so much volume. Some of the dealers actually hate that we do that, but for you as a potential customer, I'm doing that, our store is doing that to make it easy. I mean, isn't the ease of doing business some value? I mean, do you want to go in a showroom somewhere where the guy can't answer your questions? You got to wait four hours to get a price and you'd be this so it could be that, you know, and the, the cat and mouse game. I mean, some of those guys really dig the game, you know, the wear you down thing. I'd rather say, hey, here's the car, here's the price. Now let's pick one that you like that fits in your budget and let's get you going. Now there's some value in that and it's been working. So those of you considering buying from us, I can't thank you enough. All right, let's, let's get, get into this car. Uh, as you know, the cars have indexing windows and you have to be very, very cautious. Sometimes, sometimes right now, this time of the time of the year, in this weather where we've got, you know, 20 degrees, uh, the, the, the windows get frozen. So my biggest concern is when I go to open a car when it's freezing cold, the indexing window, what I mean by that is, for those of you who don't know, is when you open the door, this window's gonna drop down just a little bit, relieve some of that compression, makes it easier to get in and out of the car, seal up nice and tight when you're in the car. Right here, on this A pillar, if you just grab the handle and open the door, you're gonna catch, that window, if it's cold, it's not really gonna drop down. You get a little bit of ice in here sometimes. It's not gonna drop down enough to clear that. So here's what I do, is I put a little pressure right here, I push on it, I'm opening the door, so I push on it, now it clears. Okay, you can see it's frozen, it's trying to go up and down. When it, went, it, went, it went down enough and I would have I chipped this or scraped that, okay? So when I go to close it, I do the same thing. I give just a little bit of a push, just a bender in there. I'm up underneath that pillar, give a little push, now she's sealed up nice and tight. You know what, guys, I, uh, just in the middle of this, I just want to say thanks again. Uh, I can't tell you how much fun I'm having just sharing our representation and your passion for Corvette on this vlog. It really is, it really is a good time for me, and uh, it's pretty cool. And I wore, now one of you guys, a couple of you guys said some cool things about my hats. You need to know that I pulled this hat out of the bin for you today. This is the first time, the only time, probably the only time I will, wear this Corvette hat. Now I've got another one just like it, but why this one I've only wore once and I'm only wearing today for the video vlog. Let's check that out. Can you see that? You getting close, let me move over here in the sunshine a little bit. Yep, this hat came from the Ron Fellows Race School at Spring Mountain, Pahrump, Nevada, and autographed by Ron Fellows. It's cold, I don't have to worry about running around sweating today. So yeah, I figured, you know what? You guys are digging the hats and you want to see some different hats. So I pulled this one out of the bin. It's going back in the bin tonight. But I wanted to share that with you today. I love this hat, the ZR1 hat. I should wear this Monday for the, uh, for the ZR1 reveal. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, you know what I forgot today is? Uh, today is Saturday. It's the first Saturday of the month in January, and our dealership proudly sponsors so many cool Corvette clubs. One of them are upstairs, so we might pop in and say hi to them as well. What I think is cool when the Corvette clubs come here is they bring their Corvettes. Now it's January, so once in a while in Columbus, you know, the weather will permit and they'll bring them in. But usually on that first Saturday, you come in here on a Saturday and you're like, What's going on at Conklin? They're having a car show? I mean, that's what it's, you see so many vets hanging out. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna sneak upstairs with them and uh, they don't even know I'm coming and see what they're talking about in today's meeting. I'm sure probably getting ready for the Corvette season. 
Let's look who's in service. Hey, Ricky, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good. I hate to interrupt them. They don't know I'm coming. But I can hear them and they're talking. It's pretty cool. I've been fortunate a couple of times to actually speak at some of the Corvette clubs uh, up in Canton, uh, here at our store, just talking about Corvette and things going on in the marketplace and, and our existence in the world of Corvette. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's bust out. I think I'm gonna knock first. I'm just gonna open the door. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. I come and sneak up and had to record you from my vlog. <laughs> I said, shh, the Corvette Club's upstairs. <laughs> I told everybody on the videos, like usually in the, in the springtime, you guys show up, people come in here for just doing business on a Saturday, and you're like, oh, wow, I didn't know Corvette uh, Coughlin's having a car show today. <laughs> so, you know, that's just a Corvette club, man. Hey, we, we, you, get, you get a nice shot you can do outside with the bets or something? What do you think? What are you talking about as far as? Uh, taking a picture. Good yeah. Picture. Somewhere nice, you know, we can really make it and we well, can maybe get. Uh, you're talking about right now? No, not now. Oh. All the we don't have our meeting until 1030. Oh, are you still talking about today? Yeah. Let me remind you of something. Okay. It's January. Okay. And there's snow out there. I mean, I'm what kind of picture you're looking for. <laughs> you're like, we want to drive our Corvettes in the top of a snow hill. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's not that white one with the red stripe that you were showing. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's got a lot of response off that. Slick. So what are you guys talking about in the meeting? I know you haven't gotten the minutes yet, but what, what, what's up? <laughs> yeah, we just have our little board well, meeting. That's, that's, oh, that's we have awesome. our board meeting before we had a club, a whole club. That's good. Yeah. You know, for the folks that are watching this video, Chosen Few probably puts on, to me, I think, one of the, the best shows in the country when you do your spring fling. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just amazing to me that you get, you get folks from Wisconsin and Maryland and Alabama, Tennessee. Uh, it's just amazing. And I'm just, I'm praying for some good weather this year because we got our asses kicked last year. <laughs> oh. I am praying too, man. I'm really yeah. You know, I, I feel like if we have good weather Friday and Saturday, we'll get 300 bets. I, I just got that 300 mark in my mind. Oh, sure. I think so. I, I do. Absolutely. Because, you know, we'll send out mailers and everything early. The mailers went out like in November. Now, I already seen the flyers on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, so, yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we're yep. we trying to get it hit it early because mm -hmm. there's not a show before our show. Right. So we don't have, to have a way to pass now flyers, so we got to do it this way. Good to see you guys. Happy New Year, man. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. Okay, I got to watch a step here. The Chosen Few Club, uh, great people. Uh, I didn't realize that was the meeting before the meeting, but yeah, they'll, they'll probably fill most of that room up, even though it's still January. Okay, the vlog continues, and I'm um, getting this car warmed up for the lady coming in later on this afternoon to take a peek at it. And one of the things we've been talking about in our representation of Corvette and pricing and all that. You know what she said? Uh, she came in yesterday, says, hey, I saw this car online. Uh, is this the price? I saw the, the thing that I have to have a Corvette. She said, I have a 1960. I said, sure, that's that's the price. She goes, wow, that's great. I, I'm going to get my husband. We're going to be in tomorrow afternoon and take a look at that car. So I hope she buys it. I mean, let's face it, it's, it's January, as I've said many times over, and this is a tough month, if not the worst month of the year to sell cars. Uh, I'm worried. I mean, I'm looking at this month, but I'm also worried about going forward with the potential long, long plant delays, no production. I mean, you can't sell off an empty shelf, man. So yeah, hope she buys it, keep this thing moving forward. But it was nice to hear her uh, appreciate our marketing efforts that, uh, yeah, here's the price of the car. You like the car, let's show you some features so you understand what it is that you're buying. It should be a done deal. Uh, nice and easy. Easy works for a lot of us. Unless it is you love hearing those great articulate lines. If I could you, would you? What's it going to take to put you in that car today? If that's how you like to spend your money, go right ahead. <laughs> Yikes. That's a, yeah, some guys still use that crap. Can you believe? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So let me just share one more thing that she had said in the conversation. It kind of upset me a little bit. And I'm going to share it with you now because, you know, the, the theme of my vlog is as real as it gets. And I'm and I'm just sharing everything with you, all right? But a uh, real nice lady, you, you could tell that she was working. She had some uh, some winter uh, insulating pants on, a jacket, you know, one of those Carhartts or something like that. Uh, went to another Chevy dealership in the area and uh, 
they kind of talked down to her. Uh, wasn't very nice, wasn't very accommodating, wasn't very enthusiastic, only had a couple of Corvettes to begin with, um, and just kind of discarded her uh, as a potential customer. You know, that's that old school site qualify. Okay, that guy is an idiot. Um, that's all I'm gonna say, that's just an idiot. For me personally, let, let me be very painfully honest. If you come in here in a suit to buy a Corvette, I'm probably not gonna take you serious. To me, suits are strokes. <laughs> I just did I just freaking say that? Well, no, I mean, I, I just to me this this car, you know, it comes to be from such hard work and success. But when a guy shows up in a suit and a tie to buy a vet, come on, man, it just doesn't happen. You know, give me the dirty shoes, give me the blue jeans, give me the car hearts, flannel shirts. Let's rock and roll. Be casual, presentable. But just be real. Let's be real. Let's just have fun selling this car. I want you to have fun buying this car. So yeah, I said it. Suits or strokes. You know what? I'm in my 22nd year of selling this car. Yep. Not one guy that's coming in a suit to look at a Corvette, and I've had a few, has ever bought one. I'm just saying. Speaking from gonna get blasted for this i just know it but you know what who cares as real as it gets all right hi we're back outside and show you a couple quick things here we'll make this a little bit shorter vlog than most uh but for those of you that don't know and i don't blame it on you but it's i'm the gentleman that may have sold you the car uh if it's on stingray grand sport z06 they have no power to the car how do you get in via this key fob so if you see the key fob here you can see that darn thing to get out of the light there there you go push that little tab there just above the silver okay there's your emergency key now this doesn't start the car this just gets you in over here not in it for some of the folks that know Corvette they're like oh yeah it's right underneath the license plate no it's not <laughs> no it's not they've moved it over here so your emergency key goes in right here in this slot and you'll turn it to the right and it'll open up your hatch so rather than using that key and getting into the car and then peeling back the carpeting to jump the battery and just just a lot of torture. Avoid all that. You've already spent a bunch of money on the Corvette. Spent $100 more, get this. This is your battery protection package. Most of the Corvettes you buy from us here at Coughlin, uh, if they're cars that I ordered for our inventory, uh, they're gonna have this in it already. And it plugs in to the passenger side rear wall. It's got a little pigtail like a uh, cigarette lighter. It plugs right in. There it is in the box. Nice and easy, got a skinnier cord. Sometimes you can get it to close within the hatch. If not, you can leave the hatch just propped a little bit. That light inside is gonna go off in 10 minutes anyways. And then of course you got the bigger cord. Just plugs into a 110 outlet. So nice and easy, but boy, oh boy, with all the computers in this car, you're gonna save yourself a lot of hassle by spending a hundred bucks and plugging it in, especially this time of the year. Oh, and as far as the appointment we had earlier today, the lady and the husband coming in, that was Vicki and Garrett. Look at, oh, there's an empty spot. So did they buy it? Come on, man. What a great couple. I appreciate their business and congratulations not only on the Stingray purchase, their 2017, but congratulations on their 25th wedding anniversary. That's kind of what prompted their new Corvette purchase. Here's a quick picture of Garrett and Vicky and some of the folks from the Chosen Few Corvette Club that came downstairs and froze their butt off for this picture. Check it out. So thanks again for staying up to date on our vlogs. I hope you're enjoying it. We're gonna be sharing all kinds of solid information, a lot of how-tos. We're gonna be talking to you folks on camera as season, Corvette season, if you will, gets into full swing. So I appreciate you as these uh, these last couple few weeks we've really been pointed on and staying in touch with you. And for those of you that know me, know that I've, uh, well, I spent, I think I spent six months of last year in a boot. Uh, I did my March Madness video where I was dunking on the little tykes thing. Oh yeah bringing a hammer down and I fractured the top of my foot. 
idiot. Yeah, so I was in a boot for that, and then I was playing softball with the Coughlin softball team, and then I pulled a tendon on the bottom of my foot. So I'm still walking around without the boot right now. I'm not, I'm not even close, man. Not even close to being healed. And I got a compression sleeve on. So today we've been a little bit busy running around, so now it's starting to hurt. So my concern with going to Detroit tomorrow is how I'm going to be walking around carrying some camera equipment and cameras and and and, and bags and just all kinds of stuff, so I can gather as much information as possible. Because I think with nothing that is intended anyways to be going on with the unveiling of the ZR1 that won't be there. Uh, I might as well walk around and check out everything else on the show. So yeah, my foot's gonna be a little bit sore, but you know, that's what ibuprofen is for. So stay tuned and what, uh, now for tomorrow, speaking of which, for folks that are watching this video now and you're kind of staying up to date, for tomorrow, Monday, I won't be in the office, probably won't put any videos up of what I'm filming and editing until Tuesday, but if you want to see stuff in real time, I'm probably going to throw some Facebook Live stuff at you and some picture updates as well. Rick Corvette Conti on Facebook, and also check out my blog for Coughlin. It's CorvetteConti.com. Hope to do business with you, and if I'm not already, thanks for making me a part of your Corvette family. Well, after today's vlog, I'm waiting to see how many guys come in now with suit and ties to buy a Corvette. <laughs> Leave the jacket and the tie at home. Take it easy. Let's have some fun and reward yourself. As real as it gets.